Grady from Scandinavian today. I'm going to make my grandmother's beer pancakes. I haven't made them for a while, but they are good. The beer happens to give the pancakes a crispness and also it does affect the flavoring a little bit, but I really like them. And let's mix the ingredients. It's pretty easy. So here we have the ingredients for my Danish pancakes with beer. I am going to use nine ounces or one and a quarter cup of flour. I'm using one cup of milk. Also I'm using half a cup of beer. I am using almost a tablespoon or you can use two teaspoons of sugar and I'm going to use three eggs. I'm also adding a quarter teaspoon of salt to the ingredients. Actually, after I mixed all those ingredients together, I'm going to let it rest for about half an hour. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of melted butter to the pancake batter. And after that, I can start making them on the frying pan. But anyway, here I pour in the milk and I'm adding the salt and the sugar to the flour. Mix it up a little bit. Okay. Add the three eggs to the milk. and now then I mix it up a little bit. Alright, it's all done. Then we add the beer. Like my grandmother taught me to do and then I'm adding the flour. And now I'll mix it all up here. It doesn't take long at all to make it. And the beer does give it a nice crispness. And of course it does affect the flavor a little bit too, but I like it also. So just whip it up, make sure there are no lumps in it. And then I'm going to let it rest for half an hour. So I already melted some butter. I'm going to pour it into the batter here. Mix it in. Okay. And of course you need some butter for to fry the pancakes. If you like oil, you can also do that. I prefer butter. The butter gives it a nice flavor too. And I happen to have the spoon my grandmother always used for the pancake, so it makes it kind of special that I can use her spoon. Okay, I'm making sure it's completely hot. Alright, it should be fine now. Here we come to a spoonful of the batter and I twirl it. And there's a little bit more. Is fine now. And it's already starting to get firm around the edges, and I can see the top doesn't look as wet any longer. That means it's almost ready to get turned over. And I'm quite happy because here I have the big plate my grandmother always used for her pancakes. So, it is all in memory of her. And I think I better turn it because I don't want it to burn. There it goes. And usually the first pancake doesn't turn out as well as the rest of them. But, See, it's almost done. Just 
turn it and take a look if you're in doubt. And it looks to me like this one should be finished. Perfect. Just the way I like it. And I think we can turn down the heat now because it is hot, really hot. But it has to be hot, so that's fine. And swirl it around. And here comes a spoonful of And just keep twirling. And you might need another spoonful or another half a spoonful. Okay, I think I can turn it now. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I'll keep baking until I have used it all. So when I was a child, pancakes were considered uh, a dessert. And uh, my grandmother would always serve the pancakes with sugar, so we sprinkle the sugar on the pancake, roll it up, and then we will eat it with a knife and a fork, like that. And the sugar actually gives it a nice touch, as well as the beer does. Please enjoy and subscribe to our channel. I appreciate it. See you another day.